Well, I first wanted to become a writer when I was a teenager. I grew up in Rockaway. Every fall, the beaches would be completely empty. Rockaway's on the coast. I would walk on the beach and, 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 and read poetry, and I was intoxicated with language. I would read and feel the energy of the waves, and uh, something got inside me, and I wanted to write. I had absolutely nothing to say but I knew I wanted to speak. My father didn't approve of my being a writer. He used to look at me scribbling in my notebooks all the time with my little private, sullen adolescent self, and he would say, uh, that and 20 cents, which I believe was what the subway fare was at the time, that and 20 cents will get you on the goddamn subway. I left home when I was 16. I was still in school and I would work at nights at a bookstore on 3rd Avenue and 59th Street. My father wanted me to join the family business. It's a little scrap metal business. And uh, after I refused this offer, which was no little thing for him to make, I um, was on my own. Uh, so he didn't want to know what I was doing and I didn't burden him with the news. I'm, I'm privileged to be able to make a living at the moment as a writer and um, I do so by being like the, the old English writer Defoe who used to say I write with both hands. I do journalism, I do my column, books. I approach writing the way my father approached scrap metal which is with horse sense as he would sell his scrap to the steel mills and they would turn it into material for cars and construction so I take my raw material and attempt to turn it into something that's palatable to a larger public. Now, Hurry Down Sunshine is a book that took hold of me rather than my taking hold of it. It's not a book I searched out and nurtured into being. It's a book that came to me whole and that I had to do justice to. When my daughter Sally was 15 years old, she had an astonishing, and what to us was completely unforeseen, crack up. Like this, so it seemed, she became another person. She was speaking a language that I didn't speak. She could not hear the language that I spoke to her. We were in separate worlds. She was in psychosis later diagnosed as severe bipolar mania, a very severe case of it. The experience of seeing it stabbed me deeply, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that what was happening, it seemed like science fiction, that this person who I knew as well as anyone in the world was suddenly completely separated from me and was impenetrable. It was like watching a death over and over. Hurry Down Sunshine begins with the moment of this crack up, the moment of my realizing what had happened. And the book is told as it's happening. This was what was amazing about the experience, was what it was doing to us in its dramatic moment. I stay true to that throughout. It's a story of a summer. And it takes place in the time span from July 5th to the early fall. I consider this book to be in the humanist tradition in the sense that it brings our compassion and our ability to enter into the experience of other people. This is always what literature has done for me at its highest level. And whether I do this or not is another story, but this is what I attempt to do, to explain everything as part of human frailty. All of us, not just my daughter's illness, but all of us as we go through it with her through the storm of her illness and through what was the most significant summer of my life and of hers. Mm -hmm.